I love how fast the game saves on the GameCube version. Frontier Cavern, sub-level 4. <laughs> Your wife hates the game because of how squeaky the Pikmin talk. Aw, I think you can turn the sound effects off, but that would make it harder, because some enemies have sound cues. Oh, hey! A marble! Right at the beginning. <laughs> this must be my lucky day. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Red, but I win multiplayer. 85 Pocos. The Omniscient Sphere. <laughs> Slow and steady wins the race. So now we're getting a little bit away from the snow theme. Okay. Ah! My old nemesis. Oh wait, no, that's a swooping snitch bug. Still annoying, but less so. No, stay away. Stay away from the electric fence. Bring him back. Swooping snitch bugs are nowhere near as annoying as the bumbling snitch bugs. I'd much rather have them pick up and bury my Pikmin. Oh, hey, it's a bumbling snitch bug! Yuck! Yes! Swarm him, swarm him, swarm him, swarm him! Kill him, kill him, kill him! Yes! <laughs> Good job. That was risky. Should not throw purple Pikmin on the anode dweebles. Or dweebles. The anode, uh, beetles. Because if they decide to charge their electric attack, you die. Kill every last one of them! I agree. However, I'm wary of those anode beetles over here, because they can create that electric fence whenever they want. Can you seriously only hit those guys with yellow pigment? No, get away, get away, get away, get away! You stupid idiot! There we go. Man, my Pikmin have been thrown everywhere. Alright, finish this guy off. Finish off this guy. Cool. That should be the last of them. Oh, sure, why not? Smear him, smear him, smear him! Take him out! Yes! Nicely done, Pikmin. I am proud of you! Ambush spawns are not as bad in this as they are in Fire Emblem 6, though. 100 Pocos. Innocence lost. Uh, what? 
It's it's the topper of a Christmas tree. I don't I don't get it. It's like referencing that like you realize Santa's not real. Well, I mean, Saint Nicholas was a real person, but Santa Claus is an amalgamation of a bunch of different characters. Some real, some not. <laughs> Actually, I don't really care about looting the corpses of my enemies. I just, I just want to keep going down. <laughs> Who doesn't want thousands of ambush spawns? This guy. I believe that Saint Nicholas was a man who existed and served on the Council of Nicaea, who served as part of the inspiration for Santa Claus. <laughs> but even, even as a kid, I never believed in in Santa. I always just saw him as the mascot of Christmas. Oh yeah, it's the rest floor. So these are these are some very weird enemies here. So these are Mamutas. And uh They actually help your Pikmin out. So they they'll pound the ground and bury your Pikmin. But when they bury your Pikmin, they'll turn the Pikmin into flower Pikmin. However, they will inflict damage on your captains. They're very, very unique enemies. They're only actually dangerous to your captains. I, for one, I'm just gonna let them bury my pigment if they want. Ah, no! Did you know your Pikmin are drowning? I did know my Pikmin are drowning. Emergency! Pikmin are suffering! If you blow your whistle with B, you may help them. I know! I'm tr Maybe I'd have a better chance of helping them if you weren't telling me that they're all drowning. Oh my gosh. Splish! Ah, <laughs> uh, that's... Okay, no, that's not a creeping chrysanthemum. Thank goodness. I will say, Mamutas are a little bit more annoying before you get the pluck a phone. Before you get the pluck of one, you have to manually pluck all the Pikmin again. There we go. I was wondering which one dropped that. Oh, yeah. So this is a dungeon where you actually get two upgrade treasures uh, instead of one. Processing how strange this atypical metal object came from inside that bizarre bean. It appears to be a giant metal hand. Perhaps it is an ancient work of art. I want that metal sculpture in my house. Just a fist. Thank you for your help, Mamutas. But we had to kill you to get the treasure. <laughs> Oh, I've been waiting for this treasure. I, it would be situational. Brute Knuckles, 100 Pokos. Ugh, fist bump. This object seems to re replicate a humanoid fist, a glove much like it once lay in my junk hold. And here is that very glove. I have just found the missing rocket punch in my junk hold. Tap A three times to launch it. One, two, punch. Falcon punch. So now Omar and uh, Louis slash the president's fists are a lot better. Boom. So now we're much more effective fighters without our Pikmin, which actually will be very helpful. 
for this very dungeon. Ooh, hey! Opportunity to get more purple pigment? Yes, please. Uh, is there any nectar here? Or is it like, nope, you needed the Mamutas. Dog on it. Oh, no, there's nectar. Excellent. Come on, come on, Leaf Pikmin, try to keep up. There we go. So we could go back up, but we ain't. We're not, we're not a fool. We're going down. Even deeper. Is Pikmin Free a lot shorter than this game? I mean, Pikmin Free doesn't have the caves, but it has a lot more overworld stuff. So I would say it is shorter, yeah. Frontier Cavern, sub-level 6. I think Pikmin 2 is the longest game in the series. If you're trying to get everything. But you can beat Pikmin 2 casually a lot faster than Pikmin Free. For the main story. Alright, so we've left the, the Winter Wonderland behind. Okay. Bulbman, Water Dumple, and... Uh, and a uh, decorated cannon larva. Okay. This... Yep. Okay, so neither of them notice us yet. Which is good. Finish him off first. I mean, like, not super easy. It did take me some effort, but... Oh, man. Olmars took the damage, apparently. Now he's in the yellow zone. Rats. Oh, am I going to regret giving up five of my blue Pikmin last sub-level? Because now we only have 15, and this is the water fiend sub-level. I knew I should have given up some of the yellows. Okay, no, n no yellow. No one invited you alone. So this is a fire geyser we actually have to defeat with non-fire Pikmin. Oh no. Oh, thank goodness there's a cannon larva over here. That actually worried me a bit. Oh, it's a chess piece. Yeah, I gotta bring that back to base. Okay, good. I was getting wor- Oh, great, there's two of them. Um, are you serious? Oh my gosh, a two for one. Two for one's a good deal. Oh nice, I killed the one of the cannon water without even really trying. Alright, chess piece number one! Woohoo! <laughs> I mean, don't think I haven't debated doing the Charlie Brown scream as a sound alert. Priceless statue. The queen is a pretty priceless statue. It's the best piece in chess. Uh, 
Alright. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that didn't kill him, apparently. Well, my rocket punch will! Hiya! All right, there's one more chess piece. Do 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 do. Now we're getting to the actual frontier part of the frontier cavern. It's not Christmas themed anymore, which is kind of sad. I love I love the Christmas themed part of this cave. True. Yes, the queen is the best piece in chess, but it's not the most valuable. Very true. Choo choo! I might take the R for alert down, because I mainly added the A's for angry R for scream for my backyard baseball season where I had R for on the team. But then again, I also do like R for alerts. In case people didn't know. Ho ho! Come on, my Pikmin. Alright, 80 Pocos for the Worthless Statue. <laughs> That's the cane! You gotta keep it alive! <laughs> Alright, cool. Delve deeper. I am not happy that Olmar is really low on HP, though. I want both my captains to be at very high HP for the final floor. Otherwise, it could be really, really bad. Frontier Cavern, sub-level 7. Alright. Alright, doesn't look too bad. Save that for later! I mean, or we could do it now. I forgot about random falling rocks. Okay. Hmm. Pikmin is an underplayed franchise. Most people have played three or the first one. Not a lot of people, I think, have played two. Probably because two is hard to come by. And also because two has a very infamous reputation of being stupidly hard. Which it has earned. Okay, this could be bad. I'm afraid if we kill this guy, it'll wake up the other one. So let's start by killing the little guy. Okay, cool. Purple Pikmin are so, so good. Uh, no one died? Cool. It sure looked like someone was gonna die. Man, they really need to fix this cave. I mean, there's just avalanches happening every two seconds. I think I'll pass on the R for Gasp. You hear that enough in the show. <laughs> I also would love them to make a Pikmin 4. I... Well, that could have ended real bad. Man, they really just are throwing all the rocks at us, aren't they? Oh, 
I am astonished they did not throw a rock at me while they, we were digging this up. Who was that, a yo-yo? Dane. Mmm, it's a fire, it's a fire yo-yo. The flame tiller. Woohoo. That is a cool looking yo-yo. Yeah, Pikmin 4 is an active dough element, just like halfway free, right? I don't know, I'll believe it when I see it. Like so many things. Ooh, another jingle bell. The spouse alert. <laughs> or it's like one of those little bells that you use with your cat's toy. If your cat is your spouse, I think you need to go home and rethink your life. Hot take. This has been Artie's hot take of the day. Collect all of the money for me, please. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot I just ditched the president and left him over there. That's okay. We didn't really need him for anything. If you want to avoid the bomb rocks, hide in a bomb shelter. Well... Too bad we don't have one of those. We gotta make do with what we got. <laughs> Alright, is this the final sub-level, or is there another one? I don't think the levels start going up to ten sub-levels till the final world. Frontier Cavern sub-level eight. Oh boy, this is it. Okay, this is it. This is the floor that I've been most scared for. Okay. Every No, I keep telling you to stay behind. Okay, so this is the final floor. This introduces a new enemy. These are Bulborb Larvae. So they have literally 1 HP, they will die in 1 hit to anything. However, they can bite incredibly fast, and uh, if you've got Pikmin around, they can literally devour your Pikmin instantaneously. They also deal at least a decent amount of damage to your main captain. Also, there's a lot of them. As you can see, there's just an insane amount of these little Bulbor larva guys. So what we want to do is leave our Pikmin behind, have one captain go ahead and start taking up... The captain with your highest amount of HP. Because this is the boss of the dungeon. It's the pregnant Empress Bulblax. It's the first boss of the game, but this time she is constantly giving birth to these little Bulborb larvae. Which means, uh... Because these guys can just devour your Pikmin instantly, it makes for a much tougher boss fight than last time. So we're going to have the captain up here, the president up here, and then we're going to have Olimar whistle all the Pikmin and start moving up every so often. This is why we wanted one of our captains to have a high amount of HP, so that way they can withstand a bunch of bites while the other Pikmin ca captain goes up with the actual Pikmin. This is, yeah, it's a sickening boss. Thankfully, once we actually start beating up the Empress with our Pikmin, the larva count slows down to a crawl. But it's still definitely weird. And as I said before, I consider this to probably be the toughest boss in the game when it comes to doing things no deaths. Because all it takes is for one of these larva to start uh, attacking your Pikmin, and everything goes all wrong. Literally, if, if one of these larvae reaches our Pikmin, then we're just dead. But here's the nice thing. Also, now that she, when she rolls around, if she hits a wall, 
it'll cause a bunch of rocks to start falling. However, she will also stop giving birth while rolling around, and she can crush her own larva and do your job for you. But she's also much more unpredictable. <laughs> oh my... <laughs> well, yeah, it's not easy... Thankfully, it's not as... Thankfully, the Empress giving birth is not as graphic as humans giving birth. Well, hey, best best of luck for becoming a parent in May. I, I'm super happy. Congratulations. That's a very exciting time. I know my brother and sister-in-law fairly recently became parents as well. Actually, they came, became parents in last May. It's definitely going to be tough, but it's going to be very rewarding as well. It will not be like this. I can promise you that. <laughs> Okay, so this is actually going by a lot easier than I thought it was going to. I'm glad the president had so much HP left. If, if one of your captains just doesn't have much HP left, then good luck. Because you can't really do the split captain strategy. Oh, so close to death. So close to death. I also love how the little bulborb larva give off, like, nectar every time they die. There we go! No more larva? Good. Alright, I that went way easier than I thought it would. I'm so happy about that. Ooh, second baby! Well, congratulations still. That's still very exciting. All factory sensors overloading, approaching outer stink limits. The stench must be emanating from that object. <laughs> I can't believe I did that first try. Now, I still need to make sure there are no other larvae just kind of hanging around, because that's all it takes for you to lose everything. Okay, no. No, I don't think so. That went way better. Wow, both of these dungeons went by way better than I thought it would. I was really scared for the Frontier Cavern and the Subterranean Complex. I thought for sure we were going to have to reset way more than we did. But wow, actually, those were probably easier than the snake grit hole. <laughs> okay, I changed my mind. That's not the toughest boss in the game. Okay, I now, f having played that and the Man at Lakes, the toughest boss in the game is going to be the boss of the first cave we do in the Wistful Wild. Alright, here we go. It's a little, it's a baby booty. The repugnant appendage. Hey, I'm sorry if the baby had stinky shoes. Maybe the baby had a foot fungus. This object has pockets of air under its surface. It is perfect for the boots I am making. Processing complete nano assemblage of the rush boots is complete and concluded. These nullify wind resistance by circulating air beneath the soles. You'll move faster, and you'll no longer be blown away by Puffy Blowhog's nasal blast. So now, we can run a lot faster. Which is awesome. I believe that is also the last upgrade we get in the entire game. Actually, let me check. Yep, we now have all the upgrades. That's awesome. Wow! I can't believe how well that went! We're approaching the end game, and we're, we have far fewer resets than I was expecting. <laughs> you know what's the most no deaths! thing about winning? It's when you win. I love that feeling! As a matter of fact, I am talking about Crobster. Yep, he's gonna be a toughie. But he's, I think, gonna be a legitimate tough, and not like a, oh, this is just unfair tough. Second boy, that uh, congratulations! That's so exciting. 